is a rep, it's me as well, and he swords, he's at your own discretion. It's been a pleasure. Stop it. See what Stefan has to say, MXL, PLX. I went over there and it started, we started rapping and it sounded good, so we decided to start fire. Yeah, fire is all about basically being as hard as you possibly can. I find some things, uh, like, uh, of course, I like Jimi Hendrix, of course. I'd say Sonic Youth, Jimi Hendrix, and Sun Ra. i say Slick Rick, Too Short. Snoop. Sometimes you feel like, man, we're fucking crazy. Feelings. Yes. Gut feelings. You know when something feels good, you know when something doesn't feel right and it's not personal but you do what you feel and I mean everything we've done is what we feel like doing and that's pretty much what we will continue to do we're not in the lateral movement you know what I mean mm -hmm. just stepping side to side we want to move forward make things better so if it's just a side to side thing just for just to do it I don't see we don't see any point in that we're kind of just doing what we feel like and see what happens and so far so good, you know? So far so bad too sometimes. So far so bad. <laughs> yeah. I would change it that that I could I could fly. I'm looking for a cigarette. <laughs> but I do like the idea of like um of it being like uh, minimal and because when you know when you smoke right out of a dream oh that's dude. when you get the highest really yeah it's been the shit the crowds have been live yeah. that's cool though i'm not that fascinated by uh human achievements no expectations Sometimes, but it's always so. Well, I remember you doing something to my eyes. There are others, but I'm not really into just naming them off. That seems boring, but I'm not really that inspired by, uh, at one point in my life I was more inspired by people, but as I've grown more, humans aren't really my, I don't really look to that for inspiration that much anymore. I look more inside just to myself and what goes on in there. Internal, internal struggle, internal shit like that. Look inside more than outside. I'm not into really surface reality that much. I'd say I'm just in a state when I'm up there and, and what I do when I'm up there is just what I do when I'm up there. I'm not putting a lot of thought into it, you know? I think that would make it contrived. I like the feeling of the way he plays the drums. Makes me feel good.
playing by myself at home or dropping out of society and going in the desert and playing by myself every day. And that's what truly makes me happy in the purest form of playing music. And then, but then when all this other stuff gets evolved, it's great too, but at the same time, it makes you ask you why you need to do these things in front of people or why all, all these other things have to be attached. You know, and basically it kind of like, well, there's a couple answers to that, but one of them is like a dark truth. I feel like I can comp I feel like I'm pretty good at arranging things and composing things and like you know uh, I feel mo a lot really confident with essentially just like, like with ideas and concepts and stuff and stuff so uh, in any case it's like uh, like even if uh, I'm not 100% confident with playing on other instruments I feel like I am confident with like making uh something out of nothing and then a sense of uh, arrangement and then it coming out like really different and cool to mm. my ears you know so. and interesting and what about uh, vocal wise do you do you like singing uh, same thing I, that's something that was like uh, initially I've always wanted to do that like I, cause I really love like singing is really fun and great and stuff and I really like words and, and, and really like melodies and stuff I would say second to drums that's something I feel way more confident doing and mm. at first it was like definitely scary you know because you've never done it it's just kind of like one of those things where uh you know it's really difficult of course and then also you know it's essentially like there's this period of like getting used to your own voice because automatically you hear it and it's kind of like you know hearing your own voice for the first time and stuff can really throw you off even if other people are like no dude it sounds great it sounds mm -hmm. great you're like oh man <laughs> you hear yourself you know what i mean it's like hearing yourself on an answering machine or something you yeah. know or on the uh, radio <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. but you know, the more I started to do that, and uh, and the more you get used to it, it definitely like um, over the past couple of years when I've started to get into that kind of thing. Now I, r I really like it. You know, the challenge now for me is like, uh, especially in putting together a band to play all this stuff live, uh, is learning, tr attempting to learn to like do that at the same time as playing drums. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, and uh, with, <laughs> that's like a whole different level of <laughs> yeah, it seems <laughs> really difficult uh, yeah, yeah that takes a lot of energy yeah exactly very very challenging so but um, yeah I really have enjoyed um, getting into that aspect of things it's funny actually I was talking to a friend of mine the other day because he wanted to he was talking about uh, you know I really want to start a like a like a minor threat band like a straight punk band you know like mm -hmm. one minute songs just like old school like you know just like really just like a raw like punk band I was like oh dude that's you know we had said we were going to release two records this year we booked a tour that we actually shouldn't have booked in the first place and should have had the foresight to see that we weren't going to be able to achieve making the second record it's also important to kind of state that it's like when we made when we finished the money store we loved that record but it's like immediately we knew like that wasn't exactly what we wanted to make. We had this idea like no, because we had already started elements of like uh, No Love Deep Web and we we're like way more uh, in t like that felt way more in tune with like what we were experiencing as people in life at that point in time. So we became, we became like pretty kind of obsessed with the idea of like completing that. We had promised that we were going to deliver two records, you know, within that year and we canceled the tour so that we can complete the the second record. Well, the record's out at least, and like other people, and, and we're on tour, so actually we've done exactly what we said we were gonna do, you know, really, like. place right now to where a lot of other things have to be determined that kind of aren't even that interesting honestly you know on the other side of things as far as like figuring out how we're going to get to that place and and whether we're going to do that ourselves or who's going to do that with us and and you know based on like our our actions of purposely trying to get out of the record deal we're, we're in right now you know want the music to expand as much as possible because we want to make we believe in what we're doing and, and we believe that there's people out there that can uh, 
make positive gains like emotionally from connecting with what we're doing and stuff but the struggle for us comes into being like more reclusive or introverted kinds of people like all three of us are very much like that so I think we're very sketch on people in general at least straight up that's just how we are we just don't really like trust people we don't really we aren't interested in like you know a lot of new friends or anything like that you know we just want to make our music and do that thing but at the same time we're very eager and into the idea of like forming a lot of relationships just strictly through our music so it's kind of a hard play we're just kind of like learning how to do those things simultaneously you know majority of like the instruments and the drums and things like that on the recordings are digital based but even though it's like human feel because I'm actually performing all that stuff um, but when transferring to live and then I'm playing on top of myself the more I did I just don't I struggle with the, how it sounds and how it it's still I still struggle with it. I'm still not, actually not that happy with like I, we have a lot of ideas about like how to how to grow as a live band in the future I mean I'm ha it's cool like I like what's going on right now but that was based on the high like it gets kind of technical at that point I don't like how like say cymbals and like even having the I have a, my snare off right now and all my drums are tuned very low so it's like a lot more primal which I think is more appropriate when trying to play to myself already playing when you have those all these like high frequencies clashing, it doesn't come off right. It's a lot more clutter and stuff. And so I, I was like, and then also I just wanted to challenge myself to see what you can do like minimally with just those aspects of it. But really, it has to do with sonics because I do like the idea of like um, of it being like uh, minimal and nothing obstructive as far as like in the pat like broken down and how he's broken down when he's playing it's like where it feels more like on a similar page he has a microphone and i only have three drums it's minimal you know the song's about gentrification so it's been a bit of a rally for me Wireless power, key, um, organized cable division, MPEG VT40, pass cam half inch, 8 track, reel to reel, RAM set 12 channel, audio console, PC, Ableton Live, quad core Pentium, event monitors, bunch of microphones, amp heaven, drum corner, Big great sound dampening material and uh, office roller chair. Any questions? Yeah. Um, what are you doing here? Uh, record music. Right now, working with uh, Alaska Like Alaska and Pregnant and the Ganglands mm -hmm. and Making Records. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, there's those, those, um, the other pair of. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, that's the real, real deal. D. Yeah, here. <laughs> this is the real D. Um, Highly polarized. Very cool. <laughs> Show them out. So I can run out. Plus you get to play really loud. Get it.
get it. Get it. Known for it. Get it. Like a home. 